Hello guys, welcome back to Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for today's Seven Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the shear force and bending moment diagram. In this lecture, we are going to find out the support reactions for the simply supported beam, the shear force to draw the shear force diagram and to draw the bending moment diagram for this simply supported beam with different concentrated load. This is a simply supported beam with a total length of 8 meter. The two types of concentrated load acting on this beam. The first concentrated load is 8 kN acting at a distance of 3 meter from the left end. And after this 3 meter, we have another load of 2 kN at a distance of 6 meter from this end. And this load is acting in the opposite direction to that of the 8 kN. So, and there is no other distributed load on this beam. So, with the two concentrated load, we have to find out the support reaction, that how much reaction comes into these two supports. And then we can draw the shear force and bending moment diagram from these support reactions. So, the first step is to find out the support reactions. So, let's consider this is support A, is the hinge support, and this is the roller support, is the support B. Now, to find out the support reaction, let's assume that these support reactions are acting upward. So, it will be Ra and this will be Rb. Now, the first step is to take the summation of moment. Let's suppose the summation of moment at point A is equal to 0. So, we have to find out the support reactions B. By taking the summation of moment at A equal to 0, we can find out the support reactions of R uh, of B point which is RB. So let's suppose that the clockwise moment is taken as positive and the anti-clockwise taken as negative. This is just our assumption. So RB is acting anti-clockwise around the point A because if you see into the if you look into the RB it is moving in the anti-clockwise direction along the support A. So it is anti-clockwise, so it will be negative Rb multiplying with this the force multiplying with the distance, we get the moment. The force multiplied with the moment arm, we get the moment. This is the formula for the moment. So Rb into the moment arm, the moment arm from this point B to point A is the whole distance, which is 3, 3 and 2, which is 8 meter. So this is the moment arm for the Rb. The next load is 2 kN which is also acting in the same direction as the support Rb, reaction Rb. So 2 is also acting in the anti-clockwise direction multiplying with the moment arm which is 3 plus 3 which is 6 meter. And then 8 kN is acting in the clockwise direction around point A. So it is plus 8 kN multiplying with the moment arm is the 3 meter. Summation of moment around A at point A is equal to 0. So we get the summation of all moments at point A equal to 0. Now if I move this part and this part to the other side of the equation, we can find out the Rb. So it becomes R 8Rb. This, uh, this will also become positive. 12 equal to 24. So we just move this negative values onto the right side to get out the Rb. Now Rb is equal to 8 Rb equal to 24 minus 12 and then Rb equal to 12 divided by 8 it comes out to be 1.5 kN. Is we are using the kN units so the unit of Rb is also in kN. So Rb comes out to be 1.5 kN. This is the support reactions of B. So now what will be the support reactions of A? How much load can resist the support A? So we can find out easily by taking the summation of vertical force is equal to 0 and we take the vertical above force is taken as positive and the negative and the downward force is taken as negative. So similarly, the RA is acting upward, it is positive, 
is made a little two pre Newton is also acting upward RB is also acting upward which is 1.5 we found out and 8 kN is acting downward so it would be minus 8 in summation of all vertical forces equal to 0 we know that RB is 1.5 so we put here so RA comes out to be if we put this place this all values if we transfer this always into the right side of the equation so it comes out to be minus 2 and minus RB and plus 8 now minus 2 minus RB is 1.5 plus 8 so after adding and subtracting I got the value of plus 4.5 kilonewton it means that our assumption was right so it is plus it means that this force is also acting in the upper direction which was plus so it is 4.5 kilonewton so we found out that the whole load 8 kilonewton which was acting downward and the 2 kilonewton which is was acting upward was equilibrized by the two support reactions RA with a load of 4.5 kilonewton acting upward and the RB which is acting also an upward direction with a magnitude of 1.5 kilonewton. Now with the help of these support reactions we can easily draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. So after getting the support reactions the RA was 4.5 kilonewton and RB was 1.5 kilonewton. Now for the shear force and bending moment diagram we can draw the reference lines so that we can draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. These are called the reference lines. So this is the zero zero line for the shear force in the unit of kilonewton and this will be the for bending moment and this is zero zero reference line for bending moment in the unit of kilonewton meter. So starting from this left side which is support A 4.5 kilonewton is acting upward so I will bring this line up to the 4.5 scale so this is our 4.5 scale and this is in the unit of kilonewton so 4.5 is acting upward and then there is no load acting on this on this beam so it will be a straight line without any variation and then 8 kilonewton is acting downward so 4.5 was acting upward and 8 kilonewton is acting downward so 4.5 minus 8 it comes out to be minus 3.5 minus 3.5 means that above the 0 0 reference we have negative values while above the 0 0 values we have a positive value so minus 3.5 means it will be below the 0 0 reference line so it comes out to be minus 3.5 here this is also in the unit of kilonewton and then there is no load acting so no load acting on the beam so we will draw a straight line again there is 2 kilonewton load acting in the upward direction so 2 is acting upward it is positive so minus 3.5 and plus 2 it comes out to be minus 1.5 so this will be now minus 1.5 it means it is still under the reference line 0 0 so it will because it is in the negative so it will be below the 0 0 1.5 kilonewton negative now again there is no load on the beam so it will be a straight line and then 1.5 kilonewton which is this 1.5 kilonewton so this is the whole bending whole shear force diagram for this beam now we have to draw the bending moment and bending moment diagram depends on the shear force is the shear force depends on the support reactions in the same way bending moment diagram depends on the shear force diagram so from the bending bending moment diagram can be easily draw if drawn if we know the area of the shear force for example this is a rectangular block we know the height is 4.5 and the length of this block is 3 meter 
this block is alpha three meter length and this block is two meter length we see here these are the three different blocks so by knowing the area of each block we can draw the bending moment diagram the maximum block is here you can see the more area is here so the maximum bending moment will be lying in this block so to how to find this a1 let's consider this is the a1 block this is the a2 block and this is the a3 block so to find the area of a1 block it will be length into width means 4.5 multiplying with 3 meter 3 meter we get 13.5 the area of this block which is in the unit of kN meter because the area of the shear force in the bend is the bending moment diagram so 13.5 the area of this block so it is starting from here 0 because the support frictions cannot resist any moment so it is 0 here is the hinge support it is not a fixed support this is why the moment is 0 and then 13.5 kN so it is somewhere here 13.5 it is in the unit of plus because uh, it is above the 0 0 line the shear force so it is plus moment so we draw the line up to the 13.5 kN meter which is the moment value at this point now A2 this is the A2 block and we have to find the area of this block so A2 is the area of length into width the length is 3.5 minus 3.5 into 3 so the area comes out to be 10.5 but negative minus 10.5 so we have to subtract this minus 10.5 from the plus 13.5 so by subtracting the 13.5 minus 10.5 we get plus 3 so plus 3 means somewhere here so we will bring it down here so it is now 3 and this is the unit of bending moment diagram 3 kN meter now we got this the second block the third block is A3 and A3 is the length and width the length is the length is 2 meter here and the width is this is the 1.5 1.5 this was 1.5 so 1.5 equal to and this is a negative because this shear force was a negative this block is below the 0 0 value so it is minus 1.5 it comes out to be minus 3 so subtracting this minus 3 from the plus 3 because we remain with plus 3 so plus 3 and minus 3 comes out to be 0 so it means the bending moment diagram ends up at the support B it comes out to be 0 here at this point now this is the bending moment diagram for this beam with the two concentrated load and from this point 13.5 kN meter we can take this is our maximum bending moment value and we can design our beam according to this bending moment value 13.5 and 13.5 is the maximum value kN meter and we should design our beam for this bending moment and we should provide our reinforcement according to this maximum bending moment hope you guys understand how to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram and for daily civil engineering videos don't forget to subscribe our channel